Hey my Scorpios, welcome. Welcome to your November reading for love and I'll do a little bit of career and I'll give you a little card guidance just to, you know, channel that energy and how to fix and deal with your love life in the month of November. So let's do this. Um, for some reason I feel like my camera is not, I don't know, it's trying to make sure like it just doesn't look blurry or something, I don't know. So anyway, so what's going on with our Scorpios and month of November for our love life, so let's do with the Celtic Cross. What's going on? This is, what's going on right now? Whoa, present. What's crossing? What is crossing? Woo, my Scorpio sight. <laughs> See something crossing. What's the past here? What's the past? Recent past. Re uh, future. Hmm. Let's do the foundation. I got two, so whatever. Foundation. And the most possible outcome. Wow. My Scorpions, I think you've been having good. Okay, you're having, okay, I'll, I'll say. So, how you see each other, okay, how you see yourself. Um, external influences, hopes and fears, and literally the entire outcome for your love life. All right, so I'll have to clarify that one. So my Scorpio, what is coming towards you this November? First of all, I see you, Scorpio, it might be you doing and offering some cup of love or someone is offering the cup of love to you. Someone is coming and saying, oh, you know, I really want to be with you. I want to stay with you, I want to stick with you, you know, that's what's happening. In the recent past, you know, done with loneliness, I'm tired of feeling this way, I'm done to being, reflecting, being in myself, just trying to figure how things happen to me and, you know, just being in that mode. You're coming out of it, you're feeling tired of loneliness and I'm coming out of it, so now it's like, or you offer that love that someone is offering to you and you were just tired of feeling alone, doing things alone. You know, like, okay, we need to work, right, here. Because what is a block, blockage for you, what's a challenge for this relationship or in this month and then is going to be initiating something new. New creativity. Maybe it can even have something to do with fertility. If you wanted to have kids or if you wanted to be with someone, you're like, hey, I want to have a kid. I want to work together in this. That's when it comes like, I can't do this myself. I just can't be alone. I'm tired. I'm done. Now someone is offering love. Someone is saying, you know what? Let's do this. But starting new, fresh, passion it's difficult it's a challenge for you Scorpio to get this initiation maybe the other person is just not giving you that those new ideas new passion and you know it's just not there always oh, just you someone is offering something but the new star is just stuck like What's the foundation? What is it? Well, you know what? We can't start over again. There's no new cycle coming in. The world reverse is telling you, you know what? We go nowhere. We have so much tasks that are not completed that we can't close that cycle. Now we're still stuck here. And then this is why we can't move forward. Just, we can't start over again. That's a challenge because, you know what? Someone is bringing all this information and just 
being a stalker or stalking you or you trying to get the information or someone is just it's like a cycle yeah i just i don't know because the the page of swords could be a lot of messages coming back and forth communication stalking revise uh revising things going into your cell phone into your internet into your facebook whatever that's page of swords it's a lot of communication coming like checking gathering information that's what the page of swords means so what is the problem here and what you're not being able to maybe start over even the offer is here is because probably you know someone is just being a stalker or someone is just being annoying and going back always getting stuck in this mode and not moving forward what is the most possible outcome well i'll get there but first what is around the corner is the three of wands and three of wands for you is like huh you see this person is waiting he's waiting for the ships to come it's like okay they're coming you're like huh is it coming is it arriving are they coming here or just moving that way are we doing something are we gonna work through this through through this issue are you gonna stop just gathering all this information and just for what even though in the best in the best possible outcome I see someone with the six of wands it's like okay I I win I get all the attention someone is getting all the attention someone is just I'm winning feeling successful and I will have to get to this um, the ending of this outcome because something is just not clear to me but how you see yourself it's like you see yourself and you're like with this um, one two three four five six I always have to count seven of pentacles but I know what it's like seven of pentacles that you see yourself and you're like you see this phase it's like looking at the value of things so you're like Is it worth it to invest in this? Because at this point, I don't know what's going on. Like, I'm done. Like, this is the foundation. This is what's going on. This is why we are in this problem. This page of sword thing that can let it not doesn't let us get out of this world reverse. So you're like, I I really want to. Um, see if I can really invest in this relationship or like I see myself like doubting and maybe just like thinking should I invest should I wait longer like is this worth it just to really maybe if you want to have a baby maybe someone wants to have a baby maybe someone is struggling with this and it's like is it worth it to struggle with this and trying to start something new I mean the offer is there but we still waiting for something to happen to arrive because you're still stuck in here clear to me i hope you see it so then what is the outside influences for you scorpio in this relationship with you um is the hierophant the hierophant has to be a lot with the convention and conventional like convention thinking and you know all this marriage thing you know it's just like feeling like okay we're doing this because we have to because this is what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like this maybe is what people from church said i'm just saying that not saying that it could happen but i mean it could happen you can have people that it's if you are in a church and someone's saying you know what it's how it's supposed to be or or friends or people who are married and just come in to get involved and says well you know this is how it's supposed to happen i mean you need to do things like this or like that it's just marriage that's what marriage is for or what's what that's why you need to stick with whatever is just marriage you know it's like that's how i see it what are your fears this is the page of wands Page of Wands is like possibilities. 
you know, so you're like, well, this is a positive change. That's what you're hoping for. Positive change possibilities that you can surpass this blockage. Because so far in the present, you do feel like you have in this this offer, this love, it's, it's with you. You do be having it. But you're still waiting for unlock this. And yes, the best outcome is like, you know, I have all the attention or the other person gets all your attention, whatever it is, feels like successful. Okay, we made it through. But, you know, we still want this partnership to change for better and be positive. But what is this final outcome is just the three of cups in reverse. And it has to be with probably if you've been dealing with third party situations because there's threes and threes here and that's a lot of fire going on here it's like fire new here so i'm going to put it this way like another way if you're dealing with someone who's been trying to initiate something new a new partnership with someone just say it i'm not saying that it could happen but if you're dealing with that that's what probably we have so many threes. It's like, you know what? This is ending. Whoever has been dealing with a third party situation and someone else involved on whatever it's ending. Or maybe to also like that moment of fun and, you know, whatever it will be, you know, ending. I don't know why I always press the button. But anyway. Also, it could be like someone will be overindulging um, about things, you know? Because sometimes this doesn't mean celebration, but this is like coming out of it or just overdoing it. And I see success. But I'm just going to try to... Let's, let's just go and see what is this Three of Cups here. Reverse. Yes, there's nothing coming out right now to transform. It's like dealing with transformations, dealing with new beginnings, dealing to move forward in the relationship. Even even though I see this success here, feeling like, okay, I just feel like it's someone trying to get your attention or you're trying to get someone's attention, you get it. But still, we stuck in this. When you or your partner is going to stop gathering information about you or your life or what you did or whatever and moving on, getting out of the circle, and this is annoying. Like, it's pretty annoying. So there's decisions like you are juggling or the other person is juggling, saying, well, hey, we're not getting out of this. I mean, that's what's going on for you. My dear Scorpio. And what's going to be in your work? Well, when it comes to your work, it might be like you going to run away or... This is this is the card of the cheater, the liar, the strategist. And I, I feel like you're trying to run away from something at work or... Something you're not seeing things clearly, so you're kind of like running away from whatever's going on. Something might be happening at work. And I'm just going to clarify this because I don't know why you get this seven of winter here. Well, uh, it might be something, a blockages or something, messages that are not going through. Kind of like feel like a burden for you at work. I don't know why. I just get that. But it has to be with something, with a message or something. So it got, you know, like... The letter card and see so you can see and the cross so it's like not going through maybe you're not getting the message or someone is not getting the message and you're like you know what I just cut up I'm just gonna cut up like I'm done let me let me run away from this type of job like I just don't see it and you're running away towards the hermit like no I'm just gonna internalize what is this? 
you want to take a break you don't want to be here in this job you just want to run away you just i'm tired with this i want to get committed to something that i really want and like and you know what at the end of the month of november you will have your wish come true this is the knight of cups so you know what you might be doing the same i mean the good decision when you try to run away and get out of the job and it's like you know what i'm just gonna be like a thief you know running away it's like i'm gonna run try to lie and say this and whatever just trying to run away from your job you know what because you want to internalize things you want to assimilate things you want to see what's going on because this is not obviously the job is not making you happy for some reason but you know what at the end it's like yeah you know what someone is not listening to you or you're not receiving the message or just your message are blockage but it's like a burden for you to messages that are not going through so what is about um what is going to be uh your channeling card for love oh this one is sticking out and it's calling my attention and it's just willingness there you go willingness so my scorpio says you are able to compromise if the end result is love you see can we start over again because this is a challenge i have this love i i have probably if you're in a marriage and whatever you have the love is there someone is offering you something but you're like Ugh. and if you're the person you know stuck in this you gathering information or the person's gathering information or you being a stalker or just annoying or whatever you know what compromise to stop Whatever you think you're doing wrong, or whatever you're not being able to decide and move on and change things, you know what? You need to be willing to change things for the better, and you do. So that's your, that's your, uh, basically your guidance, Scorpio. Be willing to compromise to. Um, and whatever you have to end and whatever you have to say but always if you know at the end of the road there's love there okay all right my scorpios i wish you the best have a great november wishing you much love much light and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and um I'll see you next month. Ciao.